So to make a table in DB Browser, first off, if you've just created your database, this um, edit definition, edit table definition dialog box is already up. Um, if you've already created tables, it won't be. You need to actually go into database structure and then click on create table to bring that dialog box up. We need to give our table a name. So look in our relational schema here and our table is called co-curricula. So I'm gonna call it okay. Okay, that's the name. When I come down and look at our first field, which is um, co-cur ID. So I come into here and I go add, and I give that a name. Now, if you check your data dictionary, you'll tell you what type of um, field this is, and it's gonna be integer because it's gonna be our primary key. Um, as you can see from here, it's bold and underlined, so primary key, it's gonna be a number. So I click on primary key. And I'm also going to say auto increment, which means every time you add a new record, it will just move to the next number, which always will ensure the uniqueness of our primary key. Now, I need to add in our other fields. So I'm going to say activity name here. So if I come into activity name and I say add, and I can say activity, if I type it right, um, and don't have spaces in your names for the best. Now our activity name is going to obviously be a name, so we have to click on here and say it's a text. Um, now it is not null, so because it hasn't got an OP underneath it, I can say it's not null. It's not the primary key, it's not auto um, incremental, and it may not be unique either. So you don't want to put that in if you don't have to. Um, so there we are, that has now made our table. I click on OK, and you see our table over here. We have a table called co-curricula. We also have another table called SQL sequence, which doesn't really have anything. We don't have to worry about that. That's just a, a working table for the database. But here's our first table here, co-curricula, and we have now created a table.